hands together. Let's make a little heat. Let's wake up those 72 million nerve endings in our hands. Is it million or thousands? Yeah, it's too early. I can't remember. All right. It's also a good hand sanitizer if you don't have any heat to friction. I'll bring the thumbs to the sternum. And if you're just waking up, just let your energy settle. Just be here on your mat. Big inhale, exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale for the Adi Mantra. Om Namah Guru Two simple mantras to shift your magnetic field. Uh, today's Kriya is one I enjoy. It's called the Kriya for Elevation. Uh, Kriya for Elevation. It's actually what I really enjoy doing, but more importantly, what is it and what is the effect? So, you know, you may have things in, in your life where you may not have the perspective uh, that you want, or you might feel stuck. So, you know, <laughs> two days ago, I was at the, uh, at the lake trying to pump up my paddle board and the little connector that plugs into my socket of my car it came undone and the spring, the fuse and the whole mechanism flew out. I didn't know where it was. So uh, the, the worst place to start looking would, would have been for me to come down to the ground and start looking around. But I got as high as I could and I actually found all the pieces in the parking lot, which was like a miracle. Um, but I had to get above the situation to find everything. And I was able to get the paddleboard pumped up and, you know, I was on my way. So it just, it gives us some, uh, the Kriya will give you an awareness to see things in a different way. And my own experience is I don't even, sometimes I don't even know what that is. It'll just pop up while I'm doing the Kriya in the meditation and I'll, I'll gain a new awareness or a new perspective to look at a situation. And uh, anyway, it, it's, it's actually that simple. So um, the first asana, it's actually called ego eradicator, which you can do on your own. So if you're ever feeling a little scattered, maybe a little full of yourself, <laughs> uh, it, 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 
uh, you, it, it does involve Breath of Fire. Does anybody that doesn't know what Breath of Fire is? Or we can do a quick refresher before we get, to, we're actually gonna do quite a bit of Breath of Fire in this Kriya. So uh, we're gonna do the quick refresher. So you stick your tongue out and pant like a dog. The breath should be at the navel point. Although that's not breath of fire, when we close our mouth and then do that through the nose, that is breath of fire. So for new students, the big, the mistake that I see is way too much effort in the breath of fire. It's just a flutter on the diaphragm. So, but I'll, you know, I'll, I'll see new students there. You know, it's just like this convulsion. That's not breath of fire. It's actually a very subtle motion on the diaphragm. It's like a, it's like a flutter. And I'm, I'm moving a lot of air, but I'm not working very hard at all. I could do this all day long. Now, when I first started doing this, I had no, I just took me a while to get the feel. And then once I got it, it it's, uh, it's actually a nice, a nice breath pattern. Now, the thing about breath of fire is it's actually, you're only doing one breath. So the yogis say, you know, we only have so many breaths. It's not about the years. It's like how many breaths you have. So one of the ways you can extend your life is by doing breath of fire every day. Um, and again, it's just, it's just a flutter. So if you feel like you're working too hard at breath of fire, you probably are. So what, so in this asana, the hand position, we're just pulling the fingers in like so. It's not this, but there's a tension and a pressure on the hand. Like I could actually, you know, it's like in the karate movies, I could cut through up. Um, not like crazy, you know, maybe two pounds of pressure. I don't want to break my hand, but there is a pressure to it. And the arms are going to go up at 60 degrees with the thumbs pointing straight up from an easy cross-legged position. And we're just gonna do breath of fire for two minutes. And begin. It's a subtle, it's a subtle motion, especially in the morning, we're gonna get that energy moving up the spinal column. And Vince and Claudia, there you go. Now the hands are gonna to wanna to come down, so just check your hand position. Now, if it feels like you're lifting from your shoulder or your bicep tendon, you really want to focus on your navel points. You want to lift with your navel. I know it might sound strange and it might be new, but on my arms right here, very little tension at all. It's all on my navel point. Just loosen limb, breath of fire. Almost done. Now, when you inhale, hands over the head. Inhale, up. Hold, can fire out. Inhale, quickly. Squeeze everything. Last one, exhale. 
inhale, squeeze. And release slowly. Back to easy posture, grab onto the shins, spinal flex. Inhale, sat, exhale, nam. Inhale forward, exhale back. Sat Nam, truth is my identity. When yogis greet, we say Sat Nam. When we leave, Sat Nam. Bless the food with Sat Nam. Good job. If you're just waking up, we're just getting loosened up. When you come forward, we're really opening up the chest and shining our heart space. It's that flexion. We have less than 27 seconds. So if you can, you have the space, increase the speed, increase the volume of air in and out of the nose. In inhale to neutral. Hold. And release. Okay. So now we're gonna do spinal twist, spinal flex, spinal twist. Arms come out, inhale left, exhale right. Inhale, sat to the left, exhale, non to the right. If you have any back issues, take care. Only take what the body will give and no more. So Kundalini yoga, we don't do pain. Fine if you're in discomfort, <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be. But we don't do pain. And this posture for sure should feel good if it doesn't modify, you know, do whatever you need to do to be responsible for your own body. All right, less than a minute.
In, inhale, elbows up, like someone's pulling on your head. Stretch, up, 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 and release. All right, so let's shake that out. We're gonna end up with our legs extended in front of us. So if you can, if you can, and I cannot at this point, but you know, we, need, we wanna keep our legs straight. If you can, you can grab your toes, hook your big finger around the big toe and put the thumb into the toenail that stimulates the meridian. Now the point of this is not how far you can go, it's, this one is all about the breathing. So I'm gonna come forward with a straight spine. I'm not gonna collapse. When we collapse, we actually close down that airway. It's actually harder to breathe like this than like this. So you know, I picture myself, if I was sitting against the wall, I would take that curve out of my neck and then my neck would come forward just a little bit. That's called a neck lock. And that actually keeps that airflow going uh, to its maximum. So if we round, um, we close off that airflow. So we're just gonna come over as far as we can with the straight spine, come down, grab where you can. So we inhale up and exhale down. It's just this motion. Exhale forward, inhale up, inhale sa, exhale nam. This exercise works the upper and lower spine. It's called the front, the front life nerve stretch. Thirty four seconds. So if you can pick it up, move more air, do that. If not, just keep going. You're doing great. Inhale to neutral. And release, and just shake it out. All right, left leg is gonna come out. If you can, you wanna put your left heel on your perineum, so you'd be sitting on your heel, if not foot on the inner thigh. And Vince, can you point to your perineum? Very good. All right. <laughs> so again, 
I'm not, not comfortable for me, but that's okay. We're stimulating a meridian right now. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna lean over, grab with your left hand, if you can grab, hook, hook the big toe, press the big toenail, and however far you can get that right arm over to join Breath of Fire. Two minutes. <laughs> So uh, exercise helps with elimination, stretches the sciatic nerve, brings circulation to the upper torso. If you have sciatic issues, could be a good one to do a lot. Less than 58 seconds. And inhale and exhale back up. And we're going to slowly switch positions. So the left, we're going to be sitting on the left. The right is the right leg is straight out. Left is either on the thigh or sitting the heel on the perineum. With a straight spine, wherever you can, if you can grab your toe, great. If not, just come down and breath of fire. Be good. Less than a minute, keep it up. The best way to get length without extending is to just bend the elbow. Instead of rounding. All right, 
20 seconds, let's pick it up. Inhale, squeeze Mula Bandha, anus, sex organ, diaphragm. Move that energy up the spine and release. Shake it out. Take a drink if you need. All right, so next we're gonna, legs in a V is as wide as you can go. Um, if, if you can grab your toes, great. If not, I cannot at the moment. I'm just gonna come down wherever I can grab. Now, what we're gonna be doing is like a twist. So you inhale to center, but I always turn first before I exhale down. Actually protects the back. Sixteen seconds. You got this. And inhale up. Next asana, if you, if you can get a little more uh, space, great. If not, it's really just about where. It's all about the breathing and just come down where you can. So we inhale up, exhale down. Straight. Yeah, just straight. There you go. Less than 21 seconds. Alexa, always 69. Inhale up to neutral. And release and kick it out. All right, before you do anything, I'm going to move. Just watch me. 
All right, so we're gonna be doing, if you, if you can do a cobra, so we'll be on our stomach. You can do a cobra, that's cobra. I don't do a very good cobra, plus it hurts my shoulders. So I come down to my elbows. And if you have any tension or your back hurts in this position, you really wanna elevate your chest as high up as you can. I'm pushing up and we're gonna do breath of fire from this posture. So, so for me, I have to come down a little bit. It hurts my lower back. So I'm just, you know, again, it's all about the breathing and you do what you can do. So we're gonna do breath of fire for two minutes. Um, one thing about this posture, look, if you have low back issues, this is excellent. You really wanna get that bounce in the navel point if you can. But that really loosens up the spine, especially for if you have lower back issues or you're tight in the lower spine. And you can have a mantra, satnam, obviously faster. Satnam, 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 satnam. What you're doing in your mind. Less than 52 seconds. Fifteen seconds, pick it up if you can. And release down to your favorite cheek, left to right. Catch your breath. Hmm. And when you're ready, we're going to slowly make our way back to a seated posture. Come here, Big rest coming shortly, so it's coming. <clears throat> All right. So just uh, hands on the knees, we're just gonna do neck, neck rolls. Take your time on this. We're gonna do this for two minutes. When you're ready, or shoulder, I mean, shoulder rolls. Got the neck roll coming shortly. It's one of my favorites too. <laughs> ah.
And good time to reverse direction. Hmm, and release. Chin to chest. We're gonna, now we're gonna do the neck roll. Nice and slow, bring the chin to the chest, left ear to the left shoulder, and just bring it around nice and slow. Make sure those shoulders don't pop up. If they do, you're probably going too fast. And on your next rotation, chin to chest, and then reverse. And inhale, chin to chest, and then bring the head up slowly. Okay, so the last asana in the Kriya is called Sat Kriya. And Sat Kriya circulates the Kundalini energy through the cycle of the chakras, aids in digestions and strengthens the nervous system. And in about 20 seconds, 30 seconds, you'll see what I mean. It's very, very potent Kriya. You can do this one on its own. Um, some people, I, I know somebody that does it, th this is 31 minutes a day, we're only gonna do it for three, so. <laughs> and then, then we have our uh, Shavasana. So you, it, we're going to be sitting on our heels. If that's not comfortable, you can sit in an easy cross-legged position. So the hands point uh, men, right thumb over left thumb, women, left thumb over right, or whatever's comfortable. And just for whatever it's worth, it, it's exceedingly rare to have more men at a Kundalini yoga class than women. This is only about the third time this has ever happened. So 
I'm usually the, the only man, you know, the only man in the room. Not that that means anything, but it's interesting. Anyway, all right. So, and I'm not. We're not starting yet. So the handle. You're pointing the finger to the ceiling, and you're just. We're gonna say you can follow me, but it's sat nam sat nam. Now, when I say sat. I'm not working to, I'll see people, again, people will overwork this thing, especially you know, if, if you haven't done it. So it's sat nam, sat. I, I allow the breath and, and the mantra to just pull my diaphragm in. It just, it'll happen on its own. Sat, nam, and let the belly out. Like really let the belly out, nam, sat, nam, sat. But it's a flutter at the diaphragm not the stomach when you're doing sut. I'll see people, their belly comes up, I'm like, what are you? <laughs> That's not sakriya. So again, if you're working too hard at sakriya, you're probably not doing sakriya. So, all right, just sit there. I'll, I'll show you what we'll be doing just so you get an idea. It, it is a feel. So I like to put just a little bit of uh, fabric between my heels and my thighs. So again, we're, I'm just going to demonstrate a few cycles and then we'll start. Sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam. Now I'm letting the belly drop on the nam. Sat. And the belly and diaphragm just pulls in automatically. Sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam, sat. Nam sat, nam sat, nam. All right, guys, ready? Just for three minutes. And then we better shavasana. All right. So you want to be saying out loud sat, nam, 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 sat. Nam sat, 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 nam sat. Nam sat, 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 now set, doing great. Now set, 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 now set. I really be pulling those arms in as close to the ears as you can get. Now set. Nam sat, that's where we get the tension, stress, pressure, and friction. Nam sat, nam sat, nam sat, nam sat, nam sat. Doing the kundalini uh, asanas correctly doesn't always make them easier, just more potent. Nam sat, 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 nam sat. Nam sat, nam sat, nam sat, nam sat, nam sat, nam sat, nam sat. Less than 33 seconds, you guys got this. Nam sat, 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 nam sat. Nam sat, 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 
and I'm set. And I'm set. Inhale. Up, 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 up. And release. And now uh, we're gonna do our Shavasana. So you'll be lying back on your mat. We're just gonna let it go. Out of everything in the Kriya, this is 80% of the Kriya right here where we integrate. Often we don't stop and let things in. So we've created all these new fluids. We've changed our magnetic field. Just bathe your organs, your body, and this energy, these, new, these precious new fluids, the new blood, just allow that to circulate and just pull it in. You can, you can feel the Kriya flowing through your body right now. We've done all that work. Just pull it into your body, into your bones, into your molecules. Just picture that happening in your mind's eye.
slowly start to bring awareness back into your body. Roll the wrists, ankles, maybe an overhead stretch. You can do a cat stretch. Extend the left leg out straight, pull the right knee in, and drop that right knee over the left, keeping that right shoulder down, and maybe the other direction. And when you're ready, come on up. It's an easy pose for our final meditation. How's everyone feeling? Good? All right. All right. So if I got if I got the option, if I had the opportunity to prescribe one uh, way to improve everyone's health every day would be this meditation we're going to do. It's called the Immune Booster Meditation. Uh, we're only going to do it for three minutes, but you can you can work your way up to five. Now in the manual, it says five. Uh, one thing I've learned about the manual is if you go beyond what the manual says, sometimes there's a little price to pay for that. So uh, three minutes is, is a great way to cleanse the whole body. It really stimulates the glandular system. And the glands are our guardians to our health. So very important to maintain uh, uh, you know, good glandular health and Kundalini yoga is an active way to uh, cause those effects on our body is by doing these uh, meditations, these kriyas. So very simple to do. Right hand index finger, we close off the right, the right nostril. The mudra, and I can't, cannot think of the name of it right now because I have yoga brain, but the the ring finger to the thumb. And like we're being sworn in. Now, one thing you want to just keep aware of is that right hand or the left hand, for some reason, likes to pop its way up. You just want to keep bringing it down to your shoulder, shoulder height. So we're just going to be doing breath of fire through the left nostril. We're only going to do this for three minutes. And, uh, Let's whoop, stop. Let's begin the immune booster meditation.
Right hand bends on the nose. There you go. Now it's easier with a straight spine. If you notice, if you punch it, it blocks the airway off. Now what I do is if I get lost in this, I always bring my focus right to my left nostril. Just notice the quality of the air going in and out of the left nostril. Less than 37 seconds, pick it up. Inhale. And exhale. Good job, guys. So we end every Kundalini yoga class with a long time sunshine song. Now I invite you to really bring the words to you because we can just sing the song and great and everything. But if you really get into the song and bless yourself with the song, something, something will happen to you. So I just invite you to really pull the words into you. Um, if you don't know them, just listen and uh, hum along, make some noise. It's all good. Make a little heat, the hands. Thumbs to sternum, inhale, and exhale. Inhale for the long time sun. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on, guide your way on, guide your way on. May be happy, may be healthy. May you be whole. Inhale for long sadhana. Sat Nam. 
Sadnam.